Hello and welcome to a new Allegro Network Multimeter tutorial. Today I would like to show you the restricted PCAP feature that um, allows to globally filter specific traffic that is not allowed to be downloaded. It's a very, very simple use case. Many customers attach the Allegro to a network where they see the full traffic. And in many situations, there are networks, there are subnets, there are specific data, which is not allowed to be um, uh, downloaded by all the users who are using the Allegro network multimeter. For that feature, we have developed in the capture profiles a global, what we call a restricted capture profile. As a good example here, we um, have set up a, a profile with two rules. One rule is all RTP data um, is only allowed with the first eight byte of payload so to get the RTP header. And another rule is one IP address it's only allowed to get the layer three, layer four header. We could also discard, for example, IP addresses. So once this is set up, you can do in the user management, in the roles, you can activate and deactivate, for example, for the admin, if the unrestricted PCAP is allowed or not. With these rules um, and roles, it's very simple to just restrict the global downloads. So giving you a good example here is that um, this is the IP address um, I have filtered. If I download now a PCAP of it, so I just say download everything I have, and I do now the download, it is automatically filtered in addition to all my filter rules with the filter. And we see now here that it's captured, but it stops after the layer four header. So the packet on the wire was 247 bytes, but we only captured 40, uh, 54 bytes. So this allows you automatically to reduce the PCAP output. And it also allows you to, for example, forbid SIP RTP captures everything for a certain set of users. And um, well, this helps a lot for IT guys to be fully compliant to data loss protection rules so that you can just prevent accidentally downloading the whole link, including very, very sensitive data. I hope this video was interesting for you and I would like to see you in the next video.